talk about reuniting with these guys and getting to spend some time with them for the first time in five years, I guess. Today. Well, it's always a pleasure whenever we can get together. That's the you know diplomatic answer, but for a little more personal, last night about 12 o'clock, I'm at the hotel. I finished everything. I was playing on Facebook a little bit. Tired, finally get ready to lay my head down. Get a phone call. Ring, ring. My wife wakes up. Who's calling you this late? I already knew. Mike Griffin, get to the bar now. <laughs> Go down there. We're up to 4 o'clock this morning just recounting the old story. So that's what it is like with this group. Like we get together and we talk about old times and we just have it. So it's always great to read about it. What's your favorite memory from that year? What stands out when someone brings up the 89 season? Well, for me, it's a personal moment. Um, before we left to go on the first game, I took and I wrote on a piece of paper, NCAA champions, and I hung it on my wall. We came, we won the first two games. Um, Xavier, South Alabama, came back and I saw the wall. And then four games later, we were national championship, and I got back to the wall, and I couldn't believe that it actually come through. So that's probably my biggest memory. Save that paper? No, I don't. No, I usually give everything that I had to my grandma, and she packs everything away. So I'm sure if I go back through everything, it's probably there somewhere, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> For a, you know, as a, a member of the championship team, what has the last couple of years been like just watching this program kind of get back to that point? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, once you're a Michigan man, you're forever a Michigan man. And so through the hard times, through the bad times, we're still there. And so just to see these last few years where Michigan has come back and just being there with the Darius Morris, being there with the Trey Birds, and just watching the resurgence of the program has been awesome. Because I told the kids last night, we spoke with them, I said, hey guys, you know, we are just like you. We're one with you guys, and you'll be the same way 25 years from now. When you guys are out there playing, like last week when you, I beat State, man, we're all up tweeting and texting and Instagramming, and they all have a ball. So, so we're always locked in with you guys. So just watching it come back has been awesome. What similarities do you see in this group and in, in your group back in, uh, in 89? Well, um, as far as shooting, Nick Stoskis and Glenn Rice, maybe. I mean, Nick is an incredible shooter. Um, I think, for me, it's um, it's our guys. We had a lot of height and a lot of big, you know, Lloyd Vaught, Terry Mills inside, Mark Hughes. And they're not that similar in that aspect, but from the perimeter, just seeing the shooting and Karis LeVert and a lot of those guys, I think they're a little different than we were, but... It's exciting to see the way John B. Lyon inserts his schemes and the way they play. So there's a little differences.